everybody, it's Naya. Welcome back to Naya Reads and Smiles. Okay, so I decided this morning that I wanted to turn this TBR shelf into a classic bookshelf. For anyone who doesn't know, I recently did a book haul where I just bought a ton of classic books. These are all from Book Outlet. I'll include um, my vlogger page down below if you want to check out where these books are from. I have a bunch of classic books now, and this year I'm doing a classic book reading challenge where I read a classic book every month. But yeah, uh, since I filmed that book haul, um, I've just had all of those books sitting in the box. I have absolutely no room to put them on any of my bigger bookshelves. So I was kind of in a conundrum and I was like, what can I do? Where can I put these? But then I realized that I have two little shelves that I can fit books on um, that are next to my desk. So all these books here are TBR books. So books that I haven't read yet that I really want to read. They're like the ones that are at the top of my TBR list. I'm going to move them over there onto those little shelves and then stack and organize all of these classic books on this white shelf and just turn this into a little like classic bookshelf. So yes, that is what I'm going to do today. And I thought, why not film it and also make this kind of like a chit chat video because you guys really like those videos. So this morning I put a little um, Instagram story post asking you guys to ask me any questions or to make assumptions for me to react to while I film this video. While I organize, I will be doing that. Um, so yeah, this should be really fun. Grab a snack. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but um, we're just going to hopefully make this look nice. Now I'm kind of just eyeballing everything and hoping that all these books will fit over there, but I guess we'll find out. Let us just remove these. Oh my god, I still need to read the diviners. I haven't looked at any of the questions yet, so this is going to be um, completely on the spot. So the first assumption I have here, it says, you have a dream to travel the world. Absolutely. Doesn't everybody, like, I feel like everyone that reaches like, I don't know, 16, 17, 18, early 20s is like, I want to sell all my belongings, buy a van, and travel the world. A ton of countries I want to go to. Number one is Japan. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I've been studying Japanese for a couple years now, and I would really like to use my language skills by actually going to the country this year, maybe, or early next year, as soon as um, my wallet allows me to. And I assume you get tired of reading and rather be writing. Absolutely. I wouldn't say I'm like tired tired of reading or like I don't want to read but for anyone who doesn't know I'm currently writing a book um another question under here a lot of you guys asked um what genre the book is girl it's fantasy it's I'm disappointed that you guys couldn't guess that it's fantasy I've been spending and dedicating a lot of time to writing it right now and I definitely like feel this struggle of like I want to read but I know if I read I will read for like three hours straight and not get any writing done so balancing reading and writing has definitely been difficult um and I'm still figuring it out and I but I will update you guys once I like get a good schedule going. I assume you care deeply about your friends and and are the mom in your friend group. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the mom in my friend group. No, I'm the one who's constantly like wanting to stop to get food. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely whatever, whatever category that is in the friend group. You are never going to replace your white shell for a matching black one. No, I am not. I am absolutely not. I know it bugs some of you guys that none of my bookshelves match and that this one's falling, but you know what? They work, they hold the books, and for me, that is all that matters. I need to start removing more of these over here. Okay, so I have removed all the books off of here. Now, I don't know which ones I want to put on the first row. Um, I'm thinking maybe like put all the Jane Austen classics that I bought up here, um, just because why not? Okay, someone says, I feel like you're the disturb me while I'm reading and I will kill you type of reader. Oh my god. This is actually the reason why I stopped reading in public because I don't know if it's like people just feel the need to talk to people that are like deeply engrossed in a book. Um, but I would go to coffee shops or even just in the library at my college um, when I was in college and just sit and read. And I swear every 10 minutes I would get someone coming up to me, um, usually a guy or something like, oh, you know, hey, what are you reading? What's up? Da -da -da -da. I don't mind if it's just like, hey, what are you reading? That looks really interesting. And then I tell them the title of the book and they're like, okay, cool. And they go about their day. No, it would always be like, hey, hey, what are you reading? And I'd be like, oh, da 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 da. And usually like when it was like a guy or something, they very rarely actually cared what I was reading and just kind of like wanted to talk. And then they would sit down if I was like at a table or something, sit down across from me and then just start up a whole conversation. And I love talking to people, but like when I'm engrossed in a book, 
like, I'm just... Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely like the I will kill you if you interrupt me type. Ooh, I love this next question. Someone asked, who is your favorite male protagonist? That is a dangerous question because I have like seven. I want you guys to pause right now for everyone who's been following for a while and just comment down below who you think I'm gonna say. It starts with an R. If you're an OG viewer, you will know. Did you guess? Yes, reasoned, reasoned from A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I know people either love him or hate him. I love him. Um, yeah, he's number one. Um, number two would be Warner from Shatter Me. I know, I know some of you guys are like, wait, Warner's second and not first? Yes, I. he got bumped down once I met reasoned. I decided I'm actually kind of just going to low-key color coordinate this and put all the colorful ones on the top first just because. Someone asked, how to fall in love with reading again. Oh, I don't know if I've ever not been in love with reading, but like been in some pretty deep, like reading slump trenches. For me, I always try and go back and reread some of my favorite books, um, but I know that doesn't really work for everyone. So my second suggestion would just to, I try to pick up books that are really short and really funny. Um, usually really cheesy books work for me and that really helps me um, kind of find the joy and entertainment in reading again. I'm not sure if the person asking this question is like a college student of any sort, but I definitely know like if you're someone who's studying literature um, and reading a lot of books or have to read a lot of books for school, it can kind of take the fun out of reading and make you sort of fall out of love in it if you have to dissect everything you're reading. For me, like any sort of cheesy supernatural book does the trick. Someone asks, why do you like dystopian books so much? P.S. I love how you are such a positive person. Thank you. Okay. I don't know, like, ugh, I blame Hunger Games for like my whole spiral into dystopian. I like, I don't know why, I'm definitely like the person that's a sucker for the as seen on TV products. Like if you put on the as seen on TV channel, I will order everything. Like the shake weight, the weird thing that vacuums your carpet, the, the more out there the concept, like for example, with like Delirium by Lauren Oliver, you know, love is a disease. I, I will buy it, <laughs> like yes, no matter how outlandish it feels um, I just love the idea of um, a future where there's like one idea that's just taken to the extreme and then what happens to all the people who are have to have to live in that world or any sort of book that just revolves around one question like one what if what if this happened um, I don't know I just love that you guys you know what I want to do actually I think I'm gonna take I told you guys I have a bunch of collector's editions of Alice in Wonderland I'm gonna go grab those off of this shelf and add it up here. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but this is my collector's edition of Alice in Wonderland, my absolute favorite edition. Um, this is the Barnes and Nobles classic, I think. My best friend Sarah got this for me for my birthday and it is just my favorite thing in the world. So I'm gonna add it up here next to my new um, uh, Puffin, what is this called? Penguin Puffin edition, I think this one is. What is your dream job? I have like seven dream jobs. I think something that bugs me um, that society kind of pushes is the idea that you could only have one dream job or there's one profession that every person gets to go into and then that's it. That's what you, that, that's your set thing in life. I I definitely feel like I'm gonna be one of those people that like every 10 years I'm gonna, or not even 10 years, maybe like every three years I'm gonna jump to a different profession. But right now, um, being an author is like the number one thing I'm focused on and the number one thing all of my energy and passion is in. As far as like, professions man i wanted to go into just about every profession at some point in my life at one point i wanted to study psychology to become a therapist just because i really love um talking to people i love listening to people i really want to become an actress at some point maybe like do that for a little while i also want to be a translator for japanese language um i like i said i've been studying japanese for a little while i'm definitely nowhere near being like getting any sort of certification um i can kind of like hold a conversation right now do you prefer hardbacks or paperback books and why personally i i feel like i'm one of the few people who actually prefer paperback books um just because 
because when I'm really into a book, I like to be able to bend it. I know half of you guys are cringing right now. Like what? So you guys know I'm a book abuser. I write in my books. I dog ear my books. Like for me, the values and the words, um, and that's what I'm focused on as long as the book stays legible. Like that's my main goal. But something I do when I read, which again, a lot of you guys are like, how could you do this now? But I fully bend the front cover around and yeah, yep, I'm one of those people. Should teens read adult books? I was definitely one of those kids that was reading adult thrillers at like 13. Um, personally, I think the whole like, these are young adult books so only young adults should read them or this is adult books and only adults should read them is totally arbitrary and you should just read whatever you're interested in. Um, I'm a huge Rick Riordan fan and I think he said in an interview that he was so surprised when he first started doing um, book signings because he originally wrote the Percy Jackson series for like 12 year olds, but he was getting teens and like 18, 19 year olds adults coming to his book signings and he was just so blown away. I think when we read, we both subconsciously and consciously try to make parallels to our own life. So if you're 13 years old and you're like already working, like I, I was working pretty young and but you already have a lot of responsibility in life um, for whatever reason, financial reason. It can be hard say for a person, a, a kid to then go and read a book where the main character really has no struggles or you know their biggest problem is deciding what nail polish to wear. That was definitely me when I was younger, um, when I was really in my sort of dark <laughs> psychological phase of just I wanted to read a bunch of dark psychological books because you know I was looking for something like that. Read whatever makes you happy and whatever brings out that passion for reading in you, like do it. Okay, someone asked, will you be willing to do a flip through of a book you annotated? I want to do a flip through so bad. The only thing I'm worried about though is copyright infringement. Um, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for like showing the inside of a whole book. Oh, okay, so the next question here is from, okay, maybe I shouldn't say their name, um, but they ask, a book to read when everything you do doesn't seem to be enough for everyone and yourself. First of all, I'm so sorry that you feel this way. Um, I have definitely been there and I think it doesn't help if there's people around you um, who are just highly toxic and are making you feel like what you're doing isn't enough. A book that I would recommend that really really or actually I made a video um, called five books to better your mental health. Um, they aren't self-help books I recommend but they are just books that definitely um, definitely can help if you're feeling like you're just doing everything possible and nothing is working. But a book I would highly, highly recommend to you and to anybody who is maybe in a place in their life where they feel similar to this. The book is called Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert and this book is more geared towards creative minds, people who are trying to pursue a creative career. I would recommend this book because Elizabeth Gilbert, she talks about something that I feel like is so just not talked about enough and that is how people very very much undervalue their own happiness especially when making decisions in life um, and this book is basically centered around the idea that it's okay to do something simply because it makes you happy and simply because it just puts a smile on your face like that's enough so anyways I recommend reading that book just because I think it really is a comfort to anybody who is maybe um, just in a place in their life where they feel like they aren't doing enough because I think a lot of that feeling of being inadequate comes from that pressure of society saying you gotta do this and you gotta make this and you gotta hit this mark by this age and this and this. So anyways, Elizabeth Gilbert just totally shatters that idea and it really helped me personally. This video is turning into more of just me answering questions and actually organizing, um, but I just realized that I have far fewer classic books than I thought I did and so I still have a lot of space. I don't think I'm gonna be able to even fill this second shelf here. Okay. I have finished putting all of my classic books on here. I highly, I, my eyeballs can't measure anything. I thought it would take up this whole shelf, but apparently not. I'm actually just going to go now and fit as many of my TBR books on here as I can. Okay, I am just about finished with this shelf. Um, before I do a little overview, I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Um, I feel like I haven't really answered much, but I'll probably go back and like edit this video and realize I answered quite a few. So do you miss living in Hawaii? Absolutely, my homesickness got so bad that I ended up spending the first like two weeks of March. I wasn't planning on traveling, um, but I ended up 
just like booking a sporadic spontaneous ticket back home because um, I just really miss my mom <laughs> and my cousins and my grandparents and just everyone but I will be visiting again in June for my family reunion which I'm so excited about my family is so big um, that literally our family reunions are like a summer camp it's like a week long it's so fun but I absolutely miss living there I want to move back but um, I kind of need to be here in Colorado right now for school and just for what I want to do it's it's best for me to be here yeah but I do miss home a lot 90% of the time very homesick someone made the assumption and said your life is like your bookshelves in organized chaos absolutely like I say with my bookshelves all the time I it looks a mess but I know where everything is and I feel like I, I, that also holds true for my life. What spelling of your lovely name do you prefer? Naya or Naya? I love you so much. I love you too. Legally, my name is spelled N-A-I, Okina A, and it's actually pronounced Naya. Um, it's Hawaiian, I'm Hawaiian. But when I came to the mainland, because so many people kind of had a um, hard time pronouncing it and it just kind of, yeah, I, I, I did what a lot of people do and I kind of changed the spelling. I started spelling it with a Y. My dad originally wanted to um, have my name spelled with a Y, but my grandmother on my mom's side was like, absolutely not. She's going to have a Hawaiian name. I am just like firm on that. So it's spelt night. -a. I prefer it to be spelled with an I. Um, I'm kind of mad at myself for well, no, I, I did what I thought I needed to do to fit in, um, but I'm definitely past that phase in my life now. Um, when I created my channel, I spelled it with a Y, um, also because I thought it would just be easier for people to say and pronounce. But I've been thinking about changing my channel name to actually the correct spelling, which is with an I. But I feel like I've been on booktube for so long and everyone knows me as Naya with a Y, so it would be kind of difficult to change. Someone asked, what is your Hogwarts house? Okay, I have a problem with the system. <laughs> I am taking the test like four or five times now and every single time I get Hufflepuff but I do not feel like a Hufflepuff I feel like spiritually I'm a Ravenclaw but they keep sorting me into Hufflepuff so I guess that's what I am but but yes I, I say you know I'm a Hufflepuff by not choice but I am a Ravenclaw in spirit someone asked do you believe in love and also do you have a boyfriend no I do not have a boyfriend nor do I desire to have one right now um, I'm definitely one of those people that one I'm very like specific with like who I'm attracted to and also like be attracted to someone and then they'll say something like one thing and I'll just be like boom and also I feel like I need to have everything in my life together before I can even like think about that yeah um my, my family thinks I'm really weird but you know yes of course I believe in love I can't imagine going through life not believing in love and I don't just mean like love as in like I'm gonna find a soulmate but just love in you know seeing love in other things um loving books loving the sky I don't know you know I don't know if it's like Shakespearean like Romeo and Juliet like that heavy maybe it gets that way for some people but I, I do believe in it absolutely the next assumption was you were a cheerleader no I was not I was a lone wolf I was only in school until I was 12 and then I did online school so I didn't go to a normal middle school or high school or anything like that and I definitely was not interested in any sort of team activities any sort of team sports if I even saw a uniform I was like no I can't do it no nope. I, I don't drop your skincare routine and please do an updated curly hair routine love you love you too yes I have an updated hair routine coming because my hair has been growing so much I, I'm just I love it I'm so happy I've worked so hard to try to get my hair to grow um but I definitely have a different hair routine now I really want to share it with you guys so I will be doing an updated one soon now that my hair is a lot longer I'll do a little length check this you guys it's like nearly down to my waist it's the longest it's ever been naturally curly I will be doing an updated curly hair routine very soon I have been using new products I still use Cantu um but I kind of jumped on the Shea Moisture bandwagon and I will do a skin care routine um in that video as well i might just do like a little double um a double trouble video anyways thank you guys so much for watching this little organization um a chit chat video i will definitely do more of these kind of videos if you like them i will leave you with a little montage of my organization over here but until next time keep reading and i will talk to you guys later bye